Hello. Um, this is just a little tutorial for you guys who want to create a um, simple simple animation for your uh, water texture. Um, this is assuming that you have like a normal map for your uh, for water. Um, you can find that online just googling water normal map, hooking it up to uh, the normal map mo uh, node in uh, just a standard shader. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now, after you have that, and you have it hooked up to you, to your model here, or your object, you need to create uh, an animation for it. So first of all, right-click in your whatever folder you're in, go to Create, Animation. I'll call that Water underscore Anim. I also like to create a controller for this. I go right-click, Create, animation, uh, Animator Controller. Call that Water underscore Control. While I have that selected, I'll go to Window, Animation, Animator. I'll bring up this window right here, the Control. Drag the animation file into the Control. So when you click this yellow node here, what you can see, here you have the speed of the animation. We won't be uh, using this right now, but we'll come back to this later on. Um, so now we have to click the object that we want to animate. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and drag the control into here. So now everything is hooked up and ready to go. Now we want to actually change the animation itself. So while we have this plane selected, go to Window, Animation, Animation. Uh, it's actually the Animation Editor. So this is where we'll create the animation itself. What we want to be doing is animating the offset right so the offset of the texture itself if we scroll through this you can kind of see oh, you can kind of see what's happening right so this is this is what we want we want that to be a loop so it loops indefinitely first of all we need two keyframes we need one for the beginning position the start position of the offset which is going to be zero and one for the end position which I, I usually set that to 10 because that loops it perfectly if it's a square um, texture. Uh, so what you want to do is hit record here uh, and whichever value you change now it'll create a keyframe for that. So let's change the um, a value for the offset here. So now you see it creates keys. Set it back to 0. And let's just set this to like frame 10 or something like that. It doesn't matter, but I, I tend to do that. And set it to 10, hit enter, and disable the record. Now here you have basically your animation. So if you scroll through this, you can see the movement, and you can see the numbers go up right here, from 0 to 10. So it, it, it tweens the in-between. It does that automatically for you. Uh, it also, de by default, it creates a, an S-curve for the animation speed over time. So we kind of have to change that so it's consistent, so it doesn't start slowly and end slowly, since we're looping this. So go to Curves. You can move around in this window by holding down the mid middle mouse button and scrolling in and out to zoom. Select these. It doesn't matter if we select all of them, because we're, we're just using one of them anyway. Right-click one of these uh, points and set it to Auto. That'll straighten out this speed over time, so it's consi uh, consistent. And that's all we need to do in the um, animation window itself. Um, but yeah, so if you if, if I click play here, you can see it's, it's so fast. Uh, it's it's not usable like this. And that's why I was setting up the controller so we can change the speed. So, but first we need to set up a camera so we can see what it would look like in alt space. So go to game object, camera. Uh, while the camera is selected, uh, hold Control, Shift, and F for focus. That will set the camera to the same view as the scene view. Um, now, I'm not sure if, if we, we forgot about this. Yes, so select the water uh, anim file that we created and set it to loop time. Just so it loops the animation. Now, click the play button here. It'll uh, start the... Um, it'll start the game window. Uh, the build itself, 
and this is what if we if we were to export this uh, to all space this is what we would uh, have right now and you know that's not very pretty so what I like to do is drag this game window out and just position it a bit uh, differently right here go back to the animator while in play mode click this uh, water anim node that we created earlier now we want to change the speed of this animation right so let's set it to uh, we gotta set it way down, so maybe 0 0.003, right? This is a lot prettier. Way better. And that's that's pretty much it. Now, I don't know if by default this version of Unity, or if any, <laughs> does it so that if you change a value while you're in play mode and you come out of play mode, I'm not sure if it sets it back to default as as as, as one or what you had previously before clicking play. If that's the case, just rem remember that when you make a change in here, like point zero zero three, you copy this, you get out of play mode, then you paste it back in just to save it. Uh, I might have changed that setting somewhere so it uh, automatically saves while you're in play mode. I'm not quite sure. It's been a while since I set this up. But that's pretty much it. That's all you need. Now you can use this same technique to change, you know, to animate other stuff like rotation of an object, translation, multiple things. But um, yeah. Anyway, I uh, hope this helped out and um, I'll see you guys later.